Hello guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what I usually do. If you are new to my channel, uh, I do usually do beauty videos, like hauls and like favorites and um, fashion-y and beauty stuff, and I do vlogs as well. Concentrating on the girlier beauty side of things, uh, but today I'm gonna be doing the Hamilton tag because another thing that I'm obsessed with is musical theater. and I yeah, I started doing theater when I was in sixth grade and did it until I was a senior in high school and then I decided, eh, it's not really a, a probable career for me and it's something that I'm super passionate about and I was lucky enough, um, blessed enough to see the show a few weeks ago in New York and literally ever since then it's consumed my every waking thought and I'm not kidding. So I found this tag on YouTube that was started by Jonah's Almost Famous, and I will link her video down below in case you guys haven't seen it. She makes a lot of different Hamilton videos, and she's super funny, and um, one of the funny ones was the stages of being becoming obsessed with Hamilton. I like saw that as soon as I was becoming obsessed with Hamilton, and I was like, this girl is so on point. Uh, so I will link her original video down below, but I wanted to do it just a quick, like, fun video. Alrighty, so number one is how did you find out about Hamilton? I found out about Hamilton through my best friend Jimmy. He had told me about it probably a year ago or maybe even, even before. Uh, he used to work in theater or he did for a really, really long time in Boston. He had told me about it and was like, you have to go see it when you're in New York, but I just like never did and didn't pay attention to him until it like blew up and then he was like, good luck getting tickets. So uh, I really didn't like know that much about the show or really like care that much until the Grammy performance and I was like oh I need to see this and I put it kind of like on my bucket list. So number two is your favorite character and oh gosh it's like okay because there's number two is your favorite character and number three is the character you would want to play so it's totally different okay. My favorite character is all of them. <laughs> I can't narrow it down to one. I think my favorite character is Aaron Burr. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with Leslie Odom Jr. who is literally God and but I also just have such a sweet spot for Lafayette slash Jefferson who's played by David Diggs. Having seen the original cast is like I, I keep like pinching myself thinking like how amazing is that. Lynn was just amazing as Hamilton too, so, but I don't know if he's, if Hamilton's my favorite character, if that makes sense, um, because he's very flawed. Not that Aaron Burt isn't, but the way that the, that the show is, is portrayed, that it really doesn't make you hate Aaron Burr, and I feel like, oh, his, I just love all his songs, and I just, I just love him. So, either of those, slash Angelica, love her too. Um, number three, character you would want to play. I'll do like a realistic and an unrealistic. Unrealistic, I think my favorite character to play would be Alexander Hamilton, uh, which I would never be able to do, but theoretically in my dreams, I think it would be him um, or uh, or Angelica. I, but I would never be able to sing Angelica's part. The, one, the only realistic person I could play would be Eliza. Um, even though you know, her songs are very difficult, but I that's like what vocally or whatever I would like be inclined to play in, in real life would be Eliza. I love Eliza and I love Philippa, she's amazing. Number four, my favorite song to listen to. Oh my God, this is like Sophie's Choice. Honestly, all these questions, because it's like every song, every character, I want to play everyone. I think it's, it's kind of like a tie between a few. Um, the song that gets me really like pumped would be my shot um, or you know I love wait for it I think everyone loves wait for it how can you not uh, non-stop is just amazing I love non-stop because I love the end of it I even love Yorktown Yorktown is so good and history has its eyes on you <laughs> I'm like talking way too much about all of them but history has its eyes on you it gives me chills um, I have a really hard time listening to like the last four songs um, of act two because I get really emotional so I don't listen to those as much I'd probably be wait for it but I also love the room where it happens and again that's very like Leslie Odom Jr. is amazing and he just makes it like so that's such wonderful songs to listen to favorite song to sing along with the opening act is the opening number um, Alexander Hamilton is amazing I love to sing to that song who doesn't love the Skylar sisters who doesn't sing to satisfied um, I love all of those and if I'm ever in like a a mood. I can 
belt out some burn. That's a that's a great one as well. Um, they're they're all they're all great. Uh, number six part you always mess up when you're singing along. There's so many because you mess up in everything, obviously, because it's, it's all of the music is really hard. Um, a funny one that like I still mess up on sometimes is in the beginning of Alexander Hamilton, like grow up to be a hero and a scholar. I always want to say grow up to be a hero and a father because then the next line is the $10 founding father. So I always want to say grow up to be a hero and a father, but it's a hero and a scholar. Helpless also, um, it's like look into your eyes and the sky's the limit. I always want to say, look me in the eyes. And I always say it, I'm always like, look me in the eyes and the sky's the limit. <laughs> this is not, those are not the words. Can you rap guns and ships? You bet I can. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. I'm thinking these quotes, I'm raising red clothes, I'm going to And I'm never going to stop until I make them jump and burn them on the side of the remains. Stop me, engage, and I'm escaping, I'm enraging them. I go to France for more fun, and come back with more guns and ships, and so the battle ships. With Russian. Consolidate their gifts. I can continue, but probably embarrass myself even more than I just did on the internet. Which cast member would you want to meet most? Hands down, Lynn. I love him. I'm in love with him, and I wish I was him. Nine, have you seen the show? I have. And I know how lucky I am to have seen it, and I'm so beyond thankful and the fact that I got to see the entire original cast except for two people. There was a fill-in for um, Jazzy, Jazzy Jones, whatever her name is, Jasmine. Um, there, so the girl who played, who pay, the girl who played Peggy slash Maria Reynolds um, was not her. And I know she's amazing, so I'm kind of sad that she wasn't there. The girl who played her was really good too. But you know when you like listen to the album, you want to listen to the original cast. Uh, and obviously I didn't get to see John Groff because I went after he left so it was um, Rory Mullally, Rory Mullally, something like that. Um, he was really really funny. I mean he was hilarious and uh, I think he did a great job. I would have liked to see John Groff. I was lucky enough to see John Groff like three times in Spring Awakening when he was in the original Broadway cast but um, and he's fabulous so I would have liked to see that but um, I did see the show and I it was probably one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had the pleasure of seeing and everything was, it was very impactful and just inspiring and like my parents went and like we like couldn't talk after the show. We were just like, like what was that? Oh so, yeah, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. I can't tell you how great it was and uh, we got our tickets on broadwaytickets.org. I'll link it down below. They were very expensive um, so I probably would not have just gotten them if it was by myself. Uh, it's definitely a good amount of a month's rent for a lot of people um, but it was every penny was worth it. Every penny was worth it. If you're dying to see it, save up and go see it. Um, I know, I don't know how long the original cast is going to stay, but I'm like even dying to go see it again because I'm like, I want to see Lynn again and I know he's not going to last that much longer doing that. Um, Lynn was just fabulous and it was just mind-blowingly amazing. 10. Have you read the book? So I do not have the book that Hamilton is based off of, um, the one by Ron Kern, Chernov, whatever his name is, but I do have this and it's my baby and it's my love and it's like, I basically sleep with it every night. Um, which I recently got this and it's just Hamilton the Revolution by Lynn and Jeremy McCarter and I love it and I think I do want to read um, the Alexander Hamilton book um, but I just like right now I don't have a lot of time so I may I may read it like during one of my summer vacations or something like that but I highly recommend this book and if you guys don't have it you should get it because it's amazing and I think it's only 20 something dollars and it's like very thick and gorgeous and I'm gonna just display this on my coffee table for as long as I live. Number 11, favorite line in the show. Um, there's so many, like there's just not one in particular. I mean, I think there's a lot. Um, the one that I really liked, like in the show, no, no, it's a typical answer is um, immigrants, we get the job done. That was really, it was really great. Like when we watched it live, everyone was like, woohoo! Like, gets a lot of attention because it's such a true fact. There's a lot. I mean, I could find my favorite line in every single song. You know, I love, I'm a trust fund baby, you can trust me. And 
I love because I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. Number 12, big five words to describe the show. Um, I haven't thought about this before. I probably should have before. Breaking, transformative, inspiring, brilliant, the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, that's not actually it's, it's cheating. Powerful, I would say. It's amazing and if you have the ability to see it, and I know once it starts going on tour, more people will be able to see it and everyone's gonna be obsessed with it just like how we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if there's other Hamilton tags that you would want me to see or want me to see, want me to do or anything like that. Um, I love it. I love Hamilton so much. I love you. All right. Bye.